Hello guys, and welcome back once again to my video series on vocabulary. English vocabulary words you should learn. We're going to go over a few vocabulary words uh, today for your English comprehension, okay? But again, guys, first please like my page, share my page, and also hit that subscribe button down there. As always, it would be greatly appreciated. So let's go over some English vocabulary words. In your English learning, you should always be practicing English vocabulary, studying some English words, uh, especially common English words that we Americans speak every day. We talk about these these are just some of the words that are in our language every day. Like, ashamed, ashamed. I am ashamed of the way people treat my sister. It's an example in the sentence structure. Clearly, I clearly understand your language. Employers, the employers of this company do not want to hire me. Employers are your bosses, are people that you work for. Employee or employees, employee, employees, employees. Employees are people that work for a company. The employees of that company do a bad job. Fair. You can use this vocabulary word in different structures in the English language. Uh, a fair could be where they're having social events, where they're having um, uh, carnivals, a fair can also be where they are selling fruits and vegetables. Uh, or we can use the word, vocabulary word fair in letting, letting you know or letting people know that you are not being treated fairly. You are not being treated fair. My boss has, very, has been very fair to me during my working hours. Just an example. Far, you guys should know this word. This is a very common word in most languages around the world. Far. Uh, the Portuguese language is very foreign to me. You can also use the word as a foreigner. You guys should know what a foreigner is. I am a foreigner in Brazil because I am from the United States. So I am a foreigner. I am foreign to this country, Brazil. Honest. This word is used a lot in the English language. I feel, I feel that I am an honest person. I feel that I am an honest person. Are you honest? Do you steal? Do you lie about things? Are you honest? Interviews. Interviews is another common word in English. Um, I've been on many interviews my life looking for the right job. Job. Job is work. Job is what we all do to make money. Job. Job. 
We work, we work at a job to make money. Job. Manager. Do you know what the word manager means? A manager is someone who looks after their employees. A manager is a boss who runs the company. My manager gives me a raise, gives me money, gives me a raise every year. Manners. Do you have good manners? Manners is an English word that is used all the time. My students have good manners in class. They are good. They are good students. They have great manners in class. They behave themselves. Experience, 
experiences on, your, on this paper. You put your job and experiences on this paper to give to an employer when you are looking for a job. Let me explain that again. A resume, a resume is your job experience put on paper to give to your employer or a employer that for a job. You understand? Okay. Secretary. This is another common word around the world. Secretary. Secretary is a person that does administrative duties usually for an employee. An employee. Someone that calls people for the employee. Someone that put information in the computers. Someone that dictates dictates letters for their boss. Secretary. Try or try. Are you trying to learn English? He tries to learn English. I try to comprehend Portuguese. This is a common word in English. But listen guys, when you are looking at English vocabulary words and you are trying to pronounce them, try to break down the syllables in the words before you try to pronounce Like perfect. Perfectly has three syllables. Per, that, me. Three syllables. Rentals, rentals, rentals. Two syllables. Rent, rent.